G'day guys, it's Rob from TAP. Today I just want to show you a little trick or an alternative method to finding noises on vehicles from accessory drive components. You know, I guess we're used to our normal methods of putting a screwdriver to your ear or a stethoscope or something like that. Sometimes depending on the engine, we've got a cluster of accessories and it's very hard to determine exactly where that noise is coming from. So basically what we're going to use is our oscilloscope with a custom lead connected. We're just going to go around and put it onto everything and hopefully we're going to be able to see the noise. Currently we've got a Subaru Forester in and we know the noise is coming from the aircon compressor but I just want to use it as an example to show you how we can use this to our advantage. And this one's relatively you know, clear but um, the one that I'm going to show you later on a Kia Cerato it was very difficult because the noise was in a bit of cluster and the water pump had already been replaced before and when you put your uh, ear against it with a screwdriver it still sounded like the water pump, the new one, but using a stethoscope and a pulse sensor which I'll show you later on we found out it was actually coming from the aircon compressor as well. So stick with me, I'll get the scope on the screen and I'll show you how this works. Okay, so we're going to start up the scope and the car. So I'm going to start the car up and you'll see what I mean about this noise. Now, I'm not sure if you're going to be able to hear that over the sound of the engine, but this compressor. Hopefully you can hear that now. That compressor is making a horrible rumbling noise. But what I want to show you is how we can see that on a scope and use this to our advantage when we've got a really difficult uh, noise. So, just going to grab the jaws. If you look at the scope when I'm doing that, you can see that it's working really well. So, our compressor's off at the moment. I'll just show you what the... You just look at the tension of pulley. Oops, sorry. So just look at that. You can see there's not much happening there. Compressor kicks on, doesn't make a difference. So let's go down to this one. As you can see, not much noise there at all. Let's go to the alternator. Just put this on. Once again, not much noise. Let's go to the compressor. Now it's off. So let's have a look at where I've put that on the compressor. Let's see what's going on. And you said that it's actually not making the noise right now. As you can see, and I think I was pinched on a wire. I was pinched on a wire down there, so it wasn't on properly. But now we're on a fully metallic part. But as you can see, when the compressor's off, like now, the amplitude is very low. And as soon as the compressor comes on, we start to make some serious amplitude. Now the noise is coming on, and look at the amplitude of the signal on the screen. So, and watch it when the clutch kicks out, it goes to nothing. So that just shows us that this clutch is what. Well, the compressor is definitely our noise. So, as you can see, amplitude up, noise start. Now it's starting, now it's getting worse. There you go. So, hopefully that makes sense. But stick with me and I'll show you this Kia Serato that I was talking about from a video that I've uh, recorded before. So, I'll just talk over it and you'll see how I use the stethoscope and, uh, and pulse sensor to find that one. Because sometimes it's hard to get these clips onto everything. But, you know, if you've got a pole sensor and a stethoscope, it's uh, really easy to get on there. So, let me show you that one. So, as you can see, we've got a pole sensor here with a short hose attachment with a little stethoscope end on it. As you can see, just by us tapping it, how sensitive the actual signal is. So, we just poke around this in the front of the engine and we see if we can find any noises compared to the amplitude. So at the moment we've just got it on a couple of the accessory drive on this Kia Serato with the water pump already replaced for the possible noise 
as you see there's one drive there and here's another accessory and the amplitude's pretty much exactly the same and then what we do is we get it onto the aircon compressor and have a look at this when this loads up as you can see it's off the charts so by using this tool we were able to determine 100% that the fault was actually coming from the aircon compressor the whole time so you can see how handy these tools would be in the right situations and it's just another tool in the arsenal so there you go guys hopefully that makes sense and it shows you that you can use this as an alternative method to find those really hard to find noises it makes it easier to see and it's also a visual representation for the customer so thanks for watching guys hope you enjoyed that tip and uh, see you on tap See you next time.